Okay. Okay, so uh, we're first going to go to the My Sonic Wall website and download the most current release of the firmware. And we just simply hit here, and then it's going to ask us to, uh, to download it, which I already have done. And, um, and then all we got to do is uh, upload it to the new system. So let's go to uh, this one right here. Um, so basically after I logged in, uh, I went into systems and then settings and looked at my current version, which is 5.8. The new version is uh, 5.9. So I'm, all I'm going to really do is simply upload new firmware. Browse. And look for the 5.9 software. and hit upload. Now, um, before we, uh, we actually run the system, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna export the settings and we're gonna create a backup. This way, um, if there's anything goes wrong, we have at least have minimally this, all the settings which we then just import in if we have to rebuild the whole system. And we're going to create a backup, which is actually going to keep it on here. Where here you'll see where system backup, and it gives a date when it was um, backed up. Um, if it's changed, if it if we hit create backup and it hasn't changed, um, it'll just have the old backup date because it hasn't changed. And now we just basically wait about a minute for the uh, firmware to be uploaded. Usually this takes could take up to a minute or two, so this is not unusual. And meanwhile, while this is happening, I think I'll start it on another computer, on another firewall. Here we'll do the we'll create the backup. This will actually, you'll see new here once that's done. Let's go back to the original one. See if it's still uploading. It looks like it still is. And we wait. Okay, it was uh, successfully uploaded, and we create a backup, okay, which we, uh, if we click here, we'll create a backup, and we can export the settings. Let me show you how to export the settings. It's pretty straightforward. We're going to hit export, and um, we can take a look at it and make sure that it's the one that we want. It should have been... 11 a.m. So we're going to call this, rename it. I like to put it differentiated a little bit. That's for my 12 network, which I already had done earlier. And then I want to create a backup. And once we finish the backup, we're going to upload the new firmware. And there's a trick to that too. Here I'm going, going a little ahead of myself on another, not on another one. And we're going to upload. Actually, yeah. We're going to export the settings from here. So we never did that. We did create a backup. And where is it? The EXP. Sonic Wall 10, 12. Oh, there it is.
ready to upload the firmware. Now, with the uploading of the firmware, we hit browse. And we already, uh, we already, we already uploaded. I'm sorry. So at this point, since we already uploaded, we have a couple options. We have current or factory default settings that will erase every, all your settings on your on your uh, that sort uh, that's on your system, and we don't want that. And upload firmware with factory default setting. That again will wipe out out and just put the factory defaults. All we really want to do is upload the firmware and boot from this one. So we're just going to click boot from this image, and then when we come back, uh, we're done. Uh, basically everything will be working as it was before and this could take again two or three minutes and um, and we're done all we have to do when we go back on is just check to make sure you have the newest version and that's it pretty easy